Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stardew Valley, where it is Friday, the 12th of autumn, year one. We have a nice sunny day today, and checking our weather, tomorrow is going to be another thunderstorm, so we'll have us some more batteries. Heading out, all of our eggplants are nice and synchronized now, because I'm not OCD at all. And... Dear Rose, I know you're busy on the farm, and that's why you can't visit. I understand. You've been working so hard. Keep it up and you can accomplish anything. Love, Dad. P.S. I included some quality stone. Well, hi, how nice of you, Dad. You sent me rocks. Because I can't require rocks myself. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and harvest these eggplants. Yoink. 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 It's a fantastic mod. If I could face the right direction to do it. <laughs> Our sweet chinberry has about ten days left. Pumpkins are at three days. That doesn't seem right. Okay, yeah, they'll be ready for the festival. Again, hopefully we'll have enough uh, higher quality pumpkins. Oh, I need seeds. Alright, first I need to go ahead and water these crops. I'll join you when I'm done. Alright, that is all the crops watered. That is the booch pet. And his water is filled. We've got to figure out what we're going to put those two empty cells up there and finish out these old sections. That's kind of tricky. I don't like... <laughs> I don't like the mixed crops. Oh uh, well. At a hazard of utilizing the mixed seeds. I, I will survive. I will survive. Ooh. Oh yeah, I, have a, I already had a rainbow shell for... That Mr. E quest. Grab our maple syrup. And tend to our chickens. Cool. Oh, I don't have my hoe. Oh, dang. Alright. Hello, blue chicken. One handy thing about this uh, UI info suite, when it shows a little hand above the chickens that need to be pet, they're easier to spot in the tall grass. It's lovely. Only there was a way to get the hand to just stay there until they're pet, rather than kind of appearing, fading out, then reappearing. But, can't be perfect. Mayo! Let's go ahead and sell the stack. We have more maple syrup, which means we can build more beehives, possibly. Uh, also, check on the timing for our casks. Not casks, kegs. Nine, six pale ales to sell. 36 hours, one day. Okay. Well, I'm making more beehives. We'll desynchronize the whole setup. <laughs> oh. Let's see, what are we going to do? Um, eggplants for pickling. Go ahead and toss it in. Right toe. all this into the bins. Oh yeah, maple syrup over here. And then run our errands in town. time falls rolls around it's apparently more 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 bah, more worthwhile to sell the forage than sell the seeds all right what are we 
going to do here. Hello, Harvey. Oh, I've already given you gifts, okay. This stuff got... Yes, we already know about that. How you doing? I wish the season lasted a little longer. When the wind really picks up, I, can, I almost feel like a kid again. Huh. Okay. Like rice? Oh, you don't like rice. That's right. Oops. Get up, yeah. My dream is to keep opening new stores until I become extremely wealthy. <laughs> so, so you're trying to become a... Uh, well, what's his guts? You're trying to become become Jojo Mart. And that's really what it comes down to there. Berry seeds, amaranth seeds. Uh, kind of missed the boat on planting more. Uh, I'm planting grapes, onion seeds, peanut seeds. These re-sprout? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, harvest price 59. They may... I wonder if they do multiples. No, we will see. Uh, no. Purple sweet potatoes. Harvest price 102. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Eh, gotta fill in the odd spaces. That should do it. That should cover it. Bunkins. Alright. Uh, the rainbow shell goes to that train station. First, I'm gonna drop by the traveling merchant. Ooh, cookies! And, of course I'm gonna eat trash can cookies. Why wouldn't I eat trash can cookies? Conversely, I can give them to Vincent. There you go, kiddo! For me? Well, thanks! <laughs> uh, that's not right. <laughs> uh, yes, that looks special. Sure, why not? When I was a little girl, my father abandoned us because he f said he felt trapped. We haven't seen him since. I'm sorry to make things uncomfortable for you, it's just that this time of year makes me think of it for some reason. Anyway, how's the farming life going? <laughs> nice segue. I like living on the farm. My favorite is the fresh ice cream from our cow's milk. That's definitely a plus. Uh, when did I turn in my hoe? Great. Uh, apparently yesterday. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. We will go see the traveling merchant, see what she has to sell. Plant our seeds, head up to the way, uh, the, wait, the plant. I can't talk. Let's head up to the train station. And get the next step of that, uh, that, uh, Mr. Key quest. Basically, the end, of, end result of all that is you get access to a casino. Oh, hi. Cutscene. Oh, Rose, it's perfect timing that you showed up. Oh? I brought the children on a little field trip to the countryside. You know all about life in the country, right? That, that, this whole area is the countryside, you know. So I was thinking, could you my, be my guest speaker today? Yeah, sure, I'd love to. Great. Let me just call the children over. Jazz, Vincent, may I have your attention, please? I have a very special guest here to talk to you today. Our very own local farmer, Rose. She has first-hand experience in living in the countryside, so she knows all about the valley's natural resources. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Jazz? A natural resource is a material of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Aren't you a clever clods? Very good. That's worth two star points, Jazz. Yes! Okay, now let's give Rose our full attention. Country life is all about farming. Valley soil is ideal for growing delicious vegetables. 
Sure, why not? Yes, Vincent. Um, Farmer Rose, if you eat your veggies, will I grow up to be... be strong like my big brother Sam? He's so strong, I saw him lift Miss Penny clear off the ground last night when they were climbing into a tree. <laughs> um... Vincent, it's not good to gossip. Penny, there's something going on between you and Sam? Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. Push him into the water, Chaz. That's a lot of work for... Uh, a lot of work... Ah. It's a lot of work to take care of ki these kids. But I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them burn. And hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. Would you ever want to be a parent, Rose? Uh, I haven't really thought about it. I don't know. Well... I guess that makes sense. You're busy with other things right now. That is a very big blackberry that you've got on that little picnic blanket. Mutant fruit. I guess I know it looks that big when it's forged out in the world. It's just having it there on the picnic blanket just kind of accentuates how big it is. Well, I'm glad you showed up, Rose. I think the kids had a great time. You think? Well, I don't know. Hello. Oh, hi, Leah. Uh, another cutscene. Huh? Oh, hi, Rose. Come in, come in. I'm just working on this sculpture here. Come here, watch this. See that? I'm revealing the essence of the wood. Once you get past the outer layers, the true nature starts to show. <laughs> creepy. <laughs> I like that they actually label it creepy. <laughs> uh, it's the same with people. What? Oh yeah, that's absolutely right. I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. I knew I had to come back someday. This place has great artistic potential. Although I have to admit, it's not e it's not easy to pay the bills as an artist. Uh, why don't you do an art show in town? Hmm? Interesting. I guess I could set the wheels in motion to making Pelican Town a true art destination. What if no one likes my sculptures? I'd be crushed. I'll have to think about it. Well, thanks for stopping by, Rose. Sure thing. And I, I realize that you could not see that salute I just did. Oh, another one. Okay. Kel, how many times do I have to tell you I don't want to come back to the city? Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Click. Click. Rose! So, I guess you heard me yelling on the phone. Because he just barged into my house without knocking. That was my ex. I guess I'd better tell you a little about it. If you want to, I mean... We had an apartment together back in the city. I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on art projects. We barely made enough to scrape by. She was always nagging me to go back to school and study business or medicine. Something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life. You know, a house, in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, that sort of thing. Now it's interesting that, uh, whichever gender you're playing, that's the gender that Leah's ex is. I guess, just kind of illustrating that, yes, it's an option, I guess. I don't know. Well, I wasn't ready for that kind of life, Rose. I had to leave. So I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. 
Was that selfish of me, Rose? <laughs> no, and your ex sounds like an idiot. No, but you... Uh, yeah, but it's natural to care for yourself for... Uh, no, it had to be done. You're right. I just wouldn't have been happy back there. It was better for both of us to end an unsustainable relationship while we were still young and flexible. Anyway, I've been thinking a little more about that art show, art show idea that, that you had, you know, five minutes ago. <laughs> I'm working on some new sculptures to display the show. I'm nervous, but the thought of getting my work out there is pretty exciting. I'm just glad you're on board with making Stardew Valley a premier art destination, Rose. That wouldn't quite go that far. I mean, I just tell you to go off what you do and that you like. Oh, hi! Here, have some rice. Oh, okay. Talk. An art show for the whole village. That's a bold idea, Rose. Okay. Now! There's another cutscene that triggers out in this area, and I was just seeing if it was time to trigger that one. With three cutscenes, this might be a, a uh, one episode show, or one day episode. Uh, sandfish, oh, that's that's good for the bundle, okay, there we go. Iron ore, one iron ore for 300 gold? No, I'll pass. Excuse me, wow. Box lamp. One thing I've noticed is when you expand the house, it is very dark in it, inside. You need to come up with the light sources to kind of spread around and brighten up the place. Yes, I have not turned in the specialty fish. That's good. Alright, let's go get these seeds planted and then head to the train station. Hello, chicken. Talkable. It'd be cool if the blue chickens actually laid, like, blue eggs, but... I guess that's just not a thing, huh? Alright. We're gonna do here peanuts. Alright, I, I could have dropped fertilizer, but eh. I'm too lazy to do that now, and that's gonna cost me money. Oh well. There we go. Oh, did just perfect on those. Alright then. Hello, Poochie. I do have an odd seed here. Here, just drop it right there. Blunk. Alright. How's our mushroom cave doing? Need to remember to build chests to fill out those... Or to put between these. Put a chest there and a chest there, and you... Don't have to worry about coming back every few days to check on the mushrooms. Back at the end of the month to find chests full of mushrooms. All right, up to the train station. Let's go ahead and drop that shell. Da -da -da. Hello, Linus. Okay, the shell goes in the box on. I believe that one it. Nope. No, it's the box that's over on this end. Actually, on the platform. So, this box. Boink. You throw the shell into the box. Immediately, a note falls down from the rafters above. Well done! Your next task? Place tin beads inside the mayor's fridge. Mr. Key. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of... clean the area up at some point. Not right now, though. Not now. Not today. Right, so... We have a fish to turn in. Oh, hi. Why am I hiding behind the truck? Yes, this is definitely going to be a one-day episode. <laughs> Marnie, we can't. If work got out, it could undermine my position of authority in the town. 
Why? Why would it undermine your position of authority? The mayor is allowed to have a girlfriend. <laughs> you understand, don't you? You care too much about your job, Lewis. There are other things to life, you know? Oh, yes, I understand. I guess we'll have to keep us a secret. Ah! Rose, you overheard everything, didn't you? It's... It's not my secret to tell. But he shouldn't be keeping it a secret. There's no reason to be keeping it a secret, Matt Lewis. <laughs> Fine, I'll keep it a secret. Thank you, Rose. I won't forget this. Where are you heading there, anyway? <laughs> because I'm the town stalker, I tend to hide in bushes and stuff when stuff is going on and around corners. Hey. Alright. Yeah, seriously, there's so many cutscenes where something's going on and then your character is a bush or something like that. It's just kind of absurd. Oh, that finishes that bundle. Fantastic. What does that get me? Dish of the sea. Alright. Alright. Seaweed. Not gonna happen. Sorry, Linus. You're gonna have to have your dry white wine without seaweed. No, it was a dry red wine. Yes. Dry red wine with seaweed. What the hell? I'm more concerned about the combination or Linus having dry red wine in general. Right, so off to the. And time for bed. Alright. Uh, 3838. Yeah, nice symmetrical number. All right, and we're going to go ahead and call the episode here for tonight. Uh, I believe it's run long. I haven't actually been running a timer. <laughs> um, so I'm actually able to do game window capture again. Uh, but, as always, I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, go ahead and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see more. If you want to see more, what you want to see more of. <laughs> as always, this is Dark Tiger, signing off. Good night, folks. <laughs>